We do not fly a turn with the plane level. A turn is flown with a plane tipped, or as we say, banked, like this. Let us see why this is so. Flying a plane may be compared with driving a car. For example, if we are driving on a level highway and try to make a quick turn, the car skids. Motion like this is skidding. Here is another skid. Similarly, if we are in level flight and try to turn the plane by pushing suddenly on the rudder pedal, the plane skids. Motion like this is skidding. Now let's see a real plane skid. In order to make a turn at high speed with a car on a slippery roadway without skidding, it is necessary that the roadway be banked, slanted. Similarly, to make a normal turn in a plane, it is necessary to bank the plane. For a slow turn, one with slow speed or long radius, only moderate banking is required. For a faster turn, one with more speed or shorter radius, more banking is required. If we bank our plane and then try to fly straight ahead, the plane will slip sidewise. Motion like this is slipping. Now let us see a real plane slip. The pilot banks the plane but tries to fly straight ahead. The plane slips to the side of the low wing. It continues to slip as long as the pilot tries to fly straight ahead with the plane banked. In a turn, if you bank too little for your rate of turning, the plane will skid. It skids away from the center of the turn. If you bank too much for your rate of turning, the plane will slip. It slips toward the center of the turn. In a turn, except for special purposes, we try to avoid skidding or slipping by banking the plane just enough for our rate of turning. When the plane is banked just the right amount, the pilot feels as though he were sitting vertical in the plane. The impression is that the horizon is tipped instead of the plane. Here is what we see from the cockpit as we go into a turn. This is a left turn and the horizon seems tipped up at the left. We have just seen that in a turn the plane must be in a banked attitude. But it takes more than banking to turn the plane. To make a turn to the left, let us say, the nose of the plane must swing around to the left like this, with the long axis of the plane always remaining horizontal. In order to swing the nose around this way and keep it pointing to the horizon, it is necessary to do more than merely yaw the plane. With the plane banked like this, if we merely yaw it, the nose goes down like this. We have to hold the nose up so the turn will be made with the nose on the horizon, as we say. To hold the nose up, we use back pressure on the stick, the same as in upward pitching. If we do not use enough back pressure to hold the nose up, it will turn slightly down like this. If we use too much back pressure, the nose will be pulled up slightly like this. We must use just enough back pressure to hold the nose level. We see, therefore, that in making a normal turn, we use a combination of banking, yawing, and back pressure on the stick, just enough of each so that the plane does not slip or skid, and so that it turns with its nose level. You must understand that to make a complete turn, we go through three stages, going into the turn, maintaining the turn, and coming out of the turn.
To go into a turn, say a right turn, we have to make several control movements. Here they are in slow motion. Start the roll, yaw with right foot, back pressure on the stick, stick to neutral, still holding back pressure. To maintain the turn, we merely hold everything as long as we wish to continue the turn. The stick still held slightly back, slight pressure with the right foot. To come out of the turn, we again make several control movements. Here they are in slow motion. Stick to the left, release right foot pressure, press a moment with the left, release back pressure on the stick, stick to neutral. Now let us see a plane making two complete turn maneuvers. That is, going into a right turn, maintaining the turn, coming out of the turn, going into a left turn, and so on. In this connection, it is well to realize that when a plane is once in a turn, the turn can be maintained if desired without rudder pressure, that is, with the pedals in neutral. If the rudder pressure is released while in the turn, the tail of the plane drops a little to one side like this. So slightly you probably wouldn't notice it, and the air striking the side of the fuselage and vertical fin does the necessary yawing. Beginning students almost always use too much rudder pressure. Hence in the beginning it is better to maintain the turn with the rudder in neutral. Here is what you see from the cockpit as a plane flies a turn. This plane is in a right turn. 